handle. We're in my garage gym right now. I wanted to take you guys through a workout today. So it is a leg and booty day. I do legs two to three times a week right now. More often two times a week, three times if I'm not um, super sore. Usually I'm pretty sore because I'm going pretty hard on my um, booty and leg days right now just because I'm trying to add some more muscle on over quarantine. I lost a good amount of muscle. Um, I was really not motivated, obviously. We're getting back on the games. Um, get my booty nice and plump again. So I know it's been a long, long time since I've done an actual workout video on my channel. I don't know why, I just stopped doing them. So if you guys like these workout videos, and I'm definitely planning on filming more, just make sure you throw it a thumbs up for me. It just gives me a better idea of what you guys wanna see. Since I'm back on YouTube now, making videos again, um, workout videos is definitely something I wanna start adding onto my channel again. So as long as you guys are cool with it, just let me know. Obviously leave a comment below if you find this video helpful. So we have Rocky over here. My dog, he's always in the gym with me. Um, and he's gonna be doing the workout. I'm probably see him in parts of the videos. And then I also will be using my Z Body Fitness Bands right here. So these are, by the time this video comes out, they'll probably be back in the stock party. Um, so we'll be getting them to me next week. Um, so, links below for you guys. And get yourself some bands. These are amazing. All of my clients use these in the app workouts. They're just so super heavy duty. They have the rubber inside here so it doesn't slip up and down your legs. They have a nice little Z Body logo on there. So yeah, super cute. I have another color releasing in another like two months from now. So <clears throat> these are restocked and then a new color is coming. So keep your eyes out for that. So quickly before we get into actual workout, I just wanna talk about my workout schedule, what I'm doing now and going forward for the next few months, what I plan on doing. So basically my workout schedule right now, I'm doing a four day split right now. So I'm doing Monday and Tuesday. I do lower body um, on Mondays. Tuesdays I do upper body, sometimes I do full body. I, like, I'll add in like a little bit of glute activation exercise in there just to get like a little bit of a pump in my booty, but not like actual heavy weights, that way my legs are still getting rest. And then Wednesdays I do as a recovery rest day, so I do either a stretch session or I'll do like some cardio and stretching or some cardio and yoga, no weights that day. And then Thursday I'll do another leg and booty day. And then Friday I will do another upper body day. And then usually for the weekends, I will just take the weekend off. I'm usually pretty active on the weekends. Like I like to go to the beach. I'm usually like, you know, like walking around, bringing loose to the water and just being outside just literally takes it out of you. So the weekends I do try to chill for the most part. If anything, I'll just do like a longer stretch session on like Saturday or Sunday. Um, and that's basically it. So it's basically like a five day workout schedule, I would say. Ideally, I'd be doing yoga twice a week. Like I'd also be down on Saturdays. And that's it, that's my workout schedule. It's nothing too crazy in terms of cardio and abs. So abs, I try to literally just throw in after every single weight day, um, or I'll just do like little circuits in between my weights on lower body and upper body day. And then, so usually abs four times a week, five, four to five times a week. And then in terms of cardio, I do not a ton of cardio, so I would say I'm pretty consistent about doing 20 minutes of the Stairmaster for my warm-ups on my weight days. So probably about 20 minutes, three to four times a week. Um, and then obviously I do also walk in the morning, so I am probably hitting about 10,000 steps a day, so I, I am still staying active. But obviously if you're if you have like a sedentary job, or you're not, or you can't take walks or something like that, then I would maybe do like a little bit more cardio in there. But again, that's just what I'm doing right now for me. So that's the gist. Rocky's literally like laying down. Yeah, it's hot in the garage now. I know. I know. I'm gonna start off this workout with 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. Like I said, I just prefer a nice long warm up. I like to be really warm when I come down here and stretch after. So I do 20 minutes of cardio, stretch a good amount. I'll do, I'll show you guys like my hip opening exercises some of my favorite stretches right now and then we'll get into the actual weights and it's gonna be like a classic old style Zoe video. I feel like I used to make these a ton on my YouTube channel. I just don't know why I stopped. Um, obviously I have a gym here so it's very doable to make tons of content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and want to see more like this because I hope I can make like a weekly thing here. Um, let me know what kind of body workouts you want to see. Just leave a comment below. All right, let's get into the workout. I'm gonna do some cardio, get a little sweaty, and let's go. Hello, everyone. 
everyone. I'm doing a voiceover for you guys today. So we are getting into my warm-up stretch here. So my stretch is basically a lot of hamstring openers, a lot of hip openers, um, and really I just need that a lot because those are usually my tightest areas. Whatever your tightest areas are, that's usually where you want to stretch, but especially on leg day, um, opening up those hips is going to be very, very important in terms of getting the best glute activation and the best just overall workout. Um, you want to make sure that your body is completely open. Right here we have a pigeon stretch. Your front leg is just going to be as parallel as possible. Back leg is just going to be straight behind you. This is great for opening up your hips, your glutes, really all of that stuff, your whole lower body. Then I'm just going to go into a deep lunge here, lizard lunge. You can go onto your forearms or not, kind of depending on where your flexibility is. Um, honestly, even just a few months ago, I've started doing this one more and I was not this flexible. So, you know, it does take time. So make sure that you're being patient with yourself. Then we also have a nice little hamstring stretch there. Um, I'm going to do that on each side, usually about 20 to 30 seconds. Um, kind of feel it out. I usually put on some good music. Let my muscles relax. Make sure that you're breathing in and out. And every time you breathe out, just try to relax that muscle a little bit more. It is a lot of mind-to-muscle connection. Even when you are stretching, just make sure that you're being aware of that and you're breathing it out. Um, makes a huge difference. Again, one of my favorite hamstring stretches here. And yeah, so again, feel free to add in some of your own favorite stretches as well. Here we have a frogger stretch. This is just great for opening up those inner thighs. And then you can also do the moving variety here, which is just getting a little bit of extra movement and rotation in that hip. Um, and just opening things up a little bit more. Then we're gonna move into a little bit of a glute stretch. This is one of my favorite. It helps open up your IT band as well. That tends to be really tight on one of my legs, so I really like this stretch. This is my tighter leg. Um, usually one leg is gonna be a lot tighter than the other, depending on various reasons, but for me it's because I had an injury on my uh, right leg when I was younger. So then we're gonna go into our glute activation, which is going to be very, very important in terms of all lower body workouts. You're going to want to always do this beforehand. These are my bands. Um, these will be in stock soon on my website. But basically you're going to have the band right above your knees there. We're doing our glute bridges first and then we're going into our iso glute bridges. And again, this is just really warming up our glutes, making sure that during our workout we're using more of our glutes versus our quads. Um, and just making sure that you know our booty is ready to go. Um, typically with a lot of people your um, glutes will not be active because you're not using them every day, like your quads. So th these are very, very important. We also have the clamshell here, one of my absolute favorite glute activation exercises. I do this be uh, before every single leg day. All right, moving into the actual workout. We are starting off with our hip thrust with band. <clears throat> For this exercise, the band is gonna be right above your knees here. And you're just going to place your feet at a good width depending on your leg length. Mine tend to be a little bit farther out just because they have really, really long legs. So play around with, you know, what, um, how far out your feet are. And then you're really going to focus on tucking those hips under and squeezing at the top. Right here I'm using uh, about 185 pounds. Um, if you are at home, you can also use dumbbells. Just resting on your pelvis or anything heavy. You can use kettlebells. You can use some books. Um, whatever you have at home. I know a lot of people are still at home right now. I'm lucky enough to have this gym in my house, but um, yeah, so use whatever you have available, and I will see you guys in the next exercise. All right, so now moving into some core that I like to do in between my sets here. Now obviously you can do abs at the end of your workout or I prefer to do them in between um, just because I feel like it keeps my core nice and active. Especially when you're doing lower body day, it's gonna be really important to always be engaging your core. So I just like to throw a few exercises in between my sets. This is just one of the circuits I do. We have some leg raises here. Make sure that you're keeping that lower back on your surface <clears throat> and make sure that your legs don't touch the ground. Obviously if you're doing it on the floor, um, or you can do it on a bench like this. And then we're gonna go into our next ab exercise, which is two count bicycle crunches. So for these, basically you're gonna do nice and slow. Don't rush this exercise. Make sure that you're engaging your entire core, using those obliques to pull your elbow and your knee to meet. At the top, I love, love, love this one. Make sure that you're going slow though. Make sure you're not just you know rushing through it. And then going into our next exercise, 
our reverse crunch. So for this one, you're basically just going to be engaging that entire core and lifting that booty up off the floor. Really make sure that you're tucking those lower abs in and just using that entire core here. And now going into the banded box squats. Again, you can do this one with a barbell or a dumbbell. So for this, you just have the band right above your knees here. And you're gonna to wanna to do a slow count on the way down. So I do like a three count, one, two, three on the way down. And then make sure you spring out of there and you're pushing through with those heels. Again, focus on pushing those knees out. You want to be sure that you're shifting those hips back and basically tapping onto your box or whatever you use. You can also use a chair, whatever you have available at your house and then you're going to go into your banded abduction. So you're just gonna take a seat and make sure that you're putting all of that weight into those heels, core is nice and tight. You're gonna lean over slightly and you're just pulling that band apart, emphasizing on the squeeze on the outside. All right, going into our elevated lunges. Again, with this one, you're just gonna need dumbbells. I am on a step here, but you can use anything you have at your house, such as some books on top of each other, um, an ottoman that you have at your house, a sturdy chair, kind of whatever you have available to you. So the biggest thing of why we're elevated here is to get more of that glute um, engagement. So on a typical lunge, you're gonna be using more of your quads, whereas here you're engaging more of your glutes. You can see them getting a nice, deep lunge, that's what that's going to do is actually help engage the glutes. So when you're going down and pushing through that heel, you're using your glutes to stand back up. So make sure that you're keeping your back straight and your core nice and tight for this exercise as well. Moving into the second exercise of the superset, you're going to grab your dumbbell here. You're going to hold it in front of your chest and we're going to do little step ups, staying in that squat stance keeping that weight in your heels. These are killer. I love them and I hate them all at the same time. Highly recommend these. Again, whatever you have at your house, you can use a step outside that you have just a little bit of elevation. That's all you need. Make sure you're keeping the weight in your heels and your back straight and your core tight. Then we're moving into my hamstring curls. So I love these. All you need is like a really long band here. I will link my favorites below from Amazon. But basically, you're just gonna attach it to something sturdy, nice and heavy. And you're going to really focus on that hamstring contraction. This is great to get your hamstrings um, just really nice. Nice workout at home. I know it's kind of hard to train hamstrings I find at home other than the traditional deadlifts and all that kind of stuff. So this is a great alternative. Make sure you're lying flat on the ground and really focus on the squeeze so you can see my hamstrings working. Workout is complete. I'm so sweaty. Um, like I said, this is my garage. So it's literally like 90 degrees in here now. It feels like 90 degrees. It's probably like 85, 86. Um, I kind of like it though because after I do my Stairmaster cardio and then I come down here stretch like you guys saw, I'm super, super warm. So it does help obviously stretching your muscles. So then I just feel some sweaty. We actually work out earlier in the day, so um, it's not as hot then. And thank you for joining today's workout. Let me know if you try it. Um, I will put it below in the description box for you guys and have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Thanks for joining the workout.